Hey guys, it's Jill and I have another Avon haul. And I also wanted to tell you guys something too, something else that I got too, which was an InStyler. And I'm just now, I'm testing it out and my hair looks super shiny, which I'm pretty pleased about. But I bought it because I wanted to be able to curl my hair. Who's with me on this? You can curl your left side of your hair perfect, but the right side of your hair, you can't curl. I've looked at so many tutorials on how to curl the right side of your hair, and I cannot do it. Somehow that barrel ends up in the way every time, and it ends up like crimping my hair like this. You guys, like it completely flattens. Like it'll be a pretty curl up here, and then down here it'll look just like that, and it'll look fried down here. Who's with me on this? Am I the only crazy person who cannot curl the right side of her head? If you guys know of a technique, please let me know because I've watched this one video that had this girl who had like a gazillion million views on there. It wasn't a gazillion million, but it was a couple million views. And I don't know, she said a way to do it and I still ended up getting that whole like thing like this. I don't get it. The InStyler works pretty well on giving me more of a wavy textured hairstyle but not curls. And now that my hair is getting super long, oh my goodness look how long it's getting. Oh, it's so exciting. But now that it's getting really long I want to start curling it because I'm tired of having it just Ugh, you know, I feel like sometimes it's just kind of there. Anyways, if you guys know of a video or a tip that I can use to to use a hair thing, what was it? Because even with the hair, the the in styler, it has that that clip which is like a barrel. So if you go like this, which the best way to do it is to go away from your face, and that's the best looking way because when the curls are coming this way, it just looks old school, and I don't really I don't like that look. But anyways, when you go like this, it has the silver barrel, but it also has that part that is wide and it's like a clamp on a curling iron. So I'm having problems with with that as well on this side. Like I can get this side and it still only really waves, which I got a smaller one too. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and get on with my Avon haul. If you guys know of a way that I can curl this side of my hair, please let me know. I always I've watched a gazillion tutorials and I'm always like, okay, turning myself around to see which side they're doing and I'm like, okay, how are they doing that? And it just looks so effortless. And I don't ever see anyone with those clips, or like the, this, I don't know. Anyways, this right here is a foaming hand sponge, and it's purple, and it's pretty. And I'm assuming that inside, there's soap? It doesn't smell like anything. Oh, you know what? Okay, 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 okay. I sound like my daughter now. I'm assuming you put your hand in there, and then you put your soap on there, and then, voila! And it feels good, too. So it, it'll exfoliate your skin as well. So I'm excited to try that out. I don't think that it has soap in it like those, what do you call them? Those things for your feet. I don't know. I don't think that it has soap in it. I think it's just called foaming because it helps to foam. Yeah, because there's no scent in there whatsoever. Okay, so that's the first thing I picked up. Next, this is a new scent, and it's the Avon Naturals Body Wash, and it's in the scent, I was going to say color, it's in the scent Plum and Nectarine. And I smelled it on the brochure, and it smelled like it smelled really good. Mm, and it does. You want to smell? smell a vision It'll be here soon. I guarantee they're going to figure out some way to come up with smell vision I know they are. Okay. Oh my goodness. You guys know, even if you, the, 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 if you don't, I love, love, love their, I don't love their tiny handwriting or their tiny font on the bottom of their lipsticks. The Shine Attract lipsticks 
I love them so much. Right now I'm wearing one of their kissable lipsticks and I'm also wearing this on top. And this one is actually part of their new collection and what is the color? In Enliven. Enliven is the color and if you can see this one actually, where's my other one? If you look at the difference, this is one of their old ones or no, not part of the new collection, but can you see that the that the gloss is tinted in this one? Whereas in this one, the gloss is just clear. So I'm kind of liking that. The top also has a little bit of a tint to it too. So loving that. But this is again in the color Enliven, and then you have your color in the middle. I cannot say enough good things about this. I actually got my mom onto these, who's not a big lover of lip products, because number one, her lips are so small, and number two, she just doesn't like how lipsticks are so drying. And so when I got this, I said, okay, try this. Try it now. And she was like, okay, put me down for four of those. I mean, it's just, the shine is amazing. It feels so good on your lips. That's the color that will come off. So it's very subtle on me. I'm fair. I'm not as fair as my mom. My mom is pretty porcelain. And it looked phenomenal on her. I'm not going to say it doesn't look phenomenal on me because, of course, it does. But it looked really good on her. She has, like I said, porcelain skin. The pigment in her lips is a little lighter than mine, too. So it came up a little bit more vibrant. Just a teeny tiny bit. Uh, it was a little bit more, obviously still wearable, but a little bit more pigmented on her lips than it was on mine. But, oh, it just looked fantastic. And right now these are on sale for $4.99. So those are awesome. That's an awesome deal. Yeah, I'm obsessed, obsessed with these things. And I'm trying not to get too many because I, that's the last thing I need is some lip products. But anyways, I digress and I'm going to move on. This right here was in campaign five, I want to say for like $4.99. So I picked it up and it is the Pave Circle Necklace and Earring Gift Set. And I just thought that was so pretty. The only thing I wish is that it had a little bit more sparkle. Like when you look at it, I mean, I'm not trying. I said it with my last one. And someone commented and said, well, what do you expect? It's a cubic zirconia. But no, I've had my fair share of cubic zirconia jewelry. And a lot of it sparkles, just like diamonds do. And this one just kind of looks flat. I don't know. But I mean, it's still pretty. I'm not going to try to pull it off like, you know, yeah, this is real diamonds or whatever. But it's really pretty. I just wish that it had more sparkle to it. I guess it has a little bit of sparkle in the, in the light. So probably in the sun it'll sparkle. But that ring that I showed in my last one did not sparkle in the sun, in the light. It didn't matter. It, it just was very, very dull. Okay. These right here, I'm testing out again because I want to find, I want to just buy one. I want to buy just one. But I want to find my perfect red or my perfect bold. So, unfortunately, you guys can't purchase these, which I shouldn't be showing you this. But it's the Totally Kissable Lipstick Samples that only I can buy because I'm a rep. I'm loving them so far. I use today... I used the Shine a Track lipstick on top of this one. And super smooth, creamy, beautiful color. Doesn't mute out your lips completely. It has sparkle in it, so it gives you that glow. It's this one right here. Just beautiful. And it seemed to have plumped my lips up a little bit, too. I was like, ooh la la. So, liking those, I'm going to find my perfect red. Somewhere, somehow, in either the Shine Attract or in the Kissable ones, I'm going to find my perfect red. These right here are newly coming out. I want to say that they're out in this campaign, and if they're not out in this campaign, then they'll be out next campaign. I know, I need to get with it with my Avon, right? Anyways, these are the Avon Glow 2-in-1 Eye Pencil. These are phenomenal. I've used them today. This one right here is the prettiest purple I've seen in a really long time. It's the purple that I have underneath, 
and up top. Oh my goodness, I just think it is gorgeous. It's just so pretty. They're really, really creamy. You do, you are going to have to sharpen these. This one's more like a silvery white right here. Those are so, so pretty. Really creamy, really easy to go onto the eye. I even put this one into my waterline, which is that piece of skin right there. And it did not bother me, so that was awesome. This one is in the color... Did I say what color this one was in? Where'd that one go? In my hand? No, this one. This one that I just showed, the purple one and the silvery gray, is Tropical Orchard. This one is Peach Beauty. Peach Beauty. So this is kind of like a whitish lime almost. Can you guys see? I hope it's not. There you go. The lights were kind of blinding me over there. Or blinding my hands. And this one is just a gorgeous bronze. Oh, this is so pretty. It's like a rose gold type bronze. It is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to, to try that for what's what's to come, which is spring. This is the first time I've ever been excited about spring, but I think it's the first time it's because it's the first time we've actually ever had a winter and it's been cold. Okay, this one is in the color Island Waters, and this is just a beautiful true gold. I mean that is just gorgeous. Do you see how pretty these are? I'm, I'm really impressed. And this one is just a beautiful ocean blue. Oh, do you see how pretty? Okay. I'm not kidding. These are fantastic. They're creamy. They're pigmented. They blend. They are just so pretty. So, really impressed with those. Again, it's the Avon Glow 2-in-1 Eye Pencil. And this right here, I was really pleasantly happy when I got this. And I'm like, oh, I should have got more. Which I really don't need more. But I was going to get the pink one. But instead of the pink one, I got the berry one. But I was really happy. The reason why I didn't get more than one was because I saw Avon Glow. So I assumed that the bronzer had shimmer in it. And I don't like bronzer to have shimmer in it really too much. But anyways, this is in the color Berry Glow. And it is just their Avon Glow Blusher Bronzer Duo. And that's what it looks like. And it's really not too pigmented. That's the only thing I have to say. I like it. It's really pretty. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. And what I did was I took this brush, which is the Sigma F50. And I just tw uh, twirled them. I swirled them both together and then just kind of patted. And then I took another brush and I just concentrated it a little bit on the bronzer just to kind of go around my forehead and then kind of just really lightly contour, not much at all. It does give a beautiful natural color to the face. No shimmer whatsoever, which I really, really like. I mean, so this is going to be really good for those of us with fair skin. But if you have darker skin, it's not going to work. And then there's the blush. So... Super pretty. I'm really liking this. I love their blushes. My favorite for the longest time. And I actually kind of got away from wearing it because I wore it so much. And I talked about it so much. If you guys were with me from the beginning, you guys know I used to talk about this blush all the time. And it's the Heavenly Pink. Oh my goodness. I love that blush so much. I actually sold my mom on that too. She actually just ordered two more of them from me. But yeah, I, I love their blushes. They're really soft. So these are just really perfect for fair skin. And then, I, I don't have these yet, but how cute are these? I don't know. How cute are they? I love Mark, and I actually sell Mark too. If you guys remember, I have their Lash All You Want, which I absolutely love. It's a dupe to Benefits They're Real, but I don't wear it often at all because of the fact that it's so hard to take off your lashes. But I do love Mark's skincare. I used to use their oil control system. Loved it. Kind of got away from it because I'm trying new things because I'm getting a little older. So I need something that has like anti-aging stuff in it. 
But yeah, Mark Skincare is amazing. I love how innovative their products are. Their hookups are pretty good. And their shoes and their clothes and their purses are amazing. But you have to be more junior size to fit in their clothes. But shoes, you can be any size. So I picked those up. And they'll be coming the next time around. I know that this is turning into something you guys probably don't want to see. So if you guys are already... Some of you may have already switched off. But these are a lot of the Mark shadows that I have. And they are nicely pigmented. They're nicely... These two right here are nice and soft. This one, not so much. I, I think it was something about it was a... More of a sheer wash of color. Oh no! <laughs> I just swirled that black into the pink. So yeah, I mean, their eyeshadows are really good too. I actually forgot about their eyeshadows. I haven't used those in a while. I need to use those. So yeah, I think that their eyeshadows are great. I think that their mascara, the lash all you want, is phenomenal. And their skincare for oily skin, really, really love it. Everything else, their shoes, I really haven't. This is, this is going to be my first time ordering a pair of shoes from Marc, so... Hopefully they're comfortable. I will keep you guys updated. Oh wow, these actually last a good bit. Wow, I mean they're not like smudge proof or anything, but I'm having to run to get these things off. That's pretty good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching. My link to my store is down below if you are interested. Also, let me know because the most... The question that I get the most is about Avon skincare and what I would suggest for skincare. So if you guys would be interested, I can do a video all about Avon skincare and what is going to be suited for what age range and what skin type. Now keep in mind, keep in mind, I've only used a select amount. So that video will be based on reviews that I can find on the Avon website and it will also be based on what Avon is saying, not what I'm saying. So if you guys want to, because you guys know I like to be 100% honest and I don't want to recommend something that you guys are going to end up hating. So let me know if you'd be interested in hearing about a skincare and kind of getting into... You know, because you look in here and you're like, oh, well, what's all of this reversalist stuff? What is it supposed to do? I can go in more detail as to who this would be best suited for, the skin type. I have used this line, so I do have experience with this line. I have used this line as well, so I have a little bit of experience with some of those products. But yeah, I mean, if you guys want me, I can, if you want to, if you want me to do a video, I can because that is the most requested thing is what do I do for skincare? What would you recommend for skincare? And again, I don't want to recommend something to you guys if I haven't tried it myself, but I do know from what I've tried of Avon skincare, I really have enjoyed and the things that I'm picking up now I really love. Mark was something that I used for years. I think it was two years straight. I used nothing but that. I, what was it called? This was it. It was called Matte Chance Mattifying Lotion. And this is how it comes in. And it comes in this container where you push on it and you get the perfect amount for your skin or for your face so you're not going crazy with it and putting putting too much and, and you're not wasting any. So, yeah. If you can... I I've, I've love, love, love... Mark's skincare as well. So, anyways, I'm not going to talk anymore. Ooh, I just saw something I might order. Ooh, I might pick that up. What a line. I might get that. Anyways, that is it for this video. It's probably like a 30 minute video now. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.